This week on In the Kitchen with Pete, we're putting together a delicious pasta dish. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Pete. Today we're doing a delicious tomato mushroom rigatoni. And then rather than throwing it all into one pot, we're gonna layer those seasonings along the way. You'll end up with a much more deep, luxurious sauce. You're gonna love it. Let's get to it. Let's do a little prep work. We're gonna need eight ounces of mushrooms. Clean them with a damp paper towel. If you submerge them in water, they're like a sponge. It'll just suck up all that water. Here's a little tip slicing up the mushrooms. Make your first cut, and now you have a flat surface, and cut away from there. First cut, flat surface, done. Simple as that. Our next item to prep is two large cloves of garlic, and we want those smashed. So give them a smash, pull off the skins, cut off each end, and voila, there's your two lovely pieces of garlic. And then we'll give those a smash. Look at that. Perfect. And we'll set those off to the side. Next item, we'll need two to three tablespoons of finely diced onions. You can run your knife through them a couple of times and then we'll set those off to the side. You can purchase mild Italian ground sausage meat or I just have some sausage here and I'm going to remove the skins, also known as the casing. Just simply slice the sausage and remove the casing. Now let's get to the sauce. It's important to use a good quality tomato, San Marzano. That's the one to get. One 16 ounce can of that. And then we'll use a 22 ounce jar of San Marzano strained tomatoes. Don't skip on the quality of these tomatoes. It really makes a difference. Break them up with your hands or a potato masher like I'm doing. And next, we'll add one six ounce can of tomato paste. And season it with one teaspoon of oregano, then a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and then next we'll add our smashed garlic and our two to three tablespoons of finely diced onions. Six fresh basil leaves. Just tear them up and add them to the pot. And to cut the acidity of the tomatoes, we'll add a packet of stevia or a teaspoon of sugar and one pinch of salt. Now we'll bring that to a boil, we'll reduce the heat to low, and cover it. To begin cooking our sausage, coat the pan with a little bit of cooking spray. We're on a medium to high heat. Break up the sausage to begin browning it. Let's add a little more seasoning. One half teaspoon of oregano, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. And we'll mix that all well and continue to cook until brown. After it's brown, you can remove excess fat if required. My sauce has come to a boil. I'm gonna stir in the sausage and place the temperature down to low and cover it. I'll use the same pan that I cooked the sausage to cook my mushrooms. And we'll do the same process, season along the way. Let's add one to two teaspoons of olive oil and a half a teaspoon of oregano and a pinch of pepper. Don't salt the mushrooms early. It'll draw the moisture out and you end up with a pan full of watery mushrooms. We'll brown these up on a medium to high heat and then add a pinch of salt. It's coming together. Let's add those mushrooms into the sauce. 
and then we'll cover it and let it simmer on low for 30 minutes. Bring a pot of water to boil and we'll add two to three teaspoons of salt. Now how much rigatoni pasta per person? I know it's always a question, about one and a half cup per person, or I use my favorite coffee cup here, one per person. We'll add that to our boiling water and in 12 minutes, or according to your package, and it'll be done. Now while our pasta's boiling, let's add a half a cup of fresh grated Parmesan. This just, of course, adds some fabulous flavor. Maybe a little extra on top after. The rigatoni pasta is done. We'll just simply drain that, shake it a couple of times, get rid of the excess water, and then into a bowl. And now let's add our sauce. Oh, now you can't just lay this on top and add a generous amount and then stir it up. You want to get it inside that rigatoni. It just kind of sucks up in those tubes and makes it delicious while you're eating it. You can place that onto a plate, a serving plate, and then you can add a little more sauce on top. And then maybe we'll garnish that with a little bit of fresh basil. Yes, just like that. Doesn't that look mouth-watering? Maybe a little side of fresh garlic toast? Oh my, you're gonna love it. Well, that was another simple and delicious recipe. I hope you get to try it out with your friends and family. And if you like it, I have over 150 recipes on YouTube to date. Check them out. I think you'll love them. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little red subscribe button down below. You'll get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see ya!